Now let's see how we can make our application more accessible. Accessibility is a large topic and encompasses many things, but we're going to take a look at it from the point of animations. Animations is a great way to make application more engaging, but they can also cause motion sickness for some people, which can hinder or even prevent them from using our application. Users who experience motion sickness can turn reduced motion mode in their operation system settings, and we can adjust our application to respect that setting. Frame of motion gives us a reduced motion hook, which returns a boolean indicating if reduced motion setting is enabled or not, and we can use it to adjust our animations. To demonstrate how reduced motion hook works, we're going to use grid component and disable sorting animation if reduced motion setting is on. Let's import user reduced motion hook and add a new variable called is reduced, which we'll assign to our hook. Then I'm going to move to position transition property, and if is reduced variable is true, I'm going to disable position transition animation by passing false. Otherwise, I'll just use transition object that we already have here. Now we'll save the changes and go to our app. I'm going to click on sorting buttons few times to confirm that our animation is working as before. Now I'll switch to accessibility settings and check reduce motion checkbox. When we come back to the application and click on sorting buttons, we no longer see the layout change animation, because the setting is picked up immediately, even without reloading the page. Since use reduce motion hook only gives us a boolean, it is up to us to decide what we want to do with it. So we can disable animation completely, as we've done here, use less bouncy transition settings, or even replace more dizzying position transition animations with opacity animations.